Okay, so let's see if you have enough math knowledge and skills to make these lines parallel. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the actual figure here so we understand the question. So we have two lines. One line is L and one line is M. And uh, these two lines are being intersected by this other line, T. This is called a transversal. But we have two angles uh, here, this angle and this angle. This first angle is 10x plus 15 degrees. This second angle is 12x minus 1 degrees. And the question is, what value of x is required to make these two lines, L and L? M parallel. Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain what's going on uh, to find the solution to this problem. But uh, one last comment before we get started here. Uh, if you are taking a geometry course or plan to take a geometry course, this is an absolute must-know. This is not that difficult, by the way, so don't be intimidated by you know, all this stuff that's going on. This problem is actually quite easy to solve. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so what value of x is the uh, correct value such that these two angles um, are going to make uh, line L and M parallel? By the way, in geometry, the notation is this, L is parallel to m that's what we want let's go to take a look at the actual answer the actual answer is x is equal to eight okay so if you got this right let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and a plus a 100 percent and multiple stars so you could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of parallel lines and transversals and there's a ton of angles that are going on here i'm going to tell you what those are but uh, this is not a difficult problem. So let's go ahead and get started right now. And again, what we're trying to do here is figure out what angle this needs to be and this needs to be such that L and M are parallel to one another. Now, if you look at the figure, you probably um, might be you know, thinking to yourself, well, these angles look like they uh, are the same. You know, just visually, right? You're just look, maybe looking at it like these appear that these would have to be the same angles uh, uh, to make line L and M parallel to one another. Now, just a quick definition of two lines being parallel to one another. Again, this is the notation. Uh, basically, these two lines will not intersect, right? So what do you think uh, these two angles need to be? Well, if you're thinking, again, well, it appears that they have to be the same angle. Well, indeed, you are correct. So this is what we need to do. We need to uh, equate this angle with this angle and basically figure out uh, what value of x makes these two angles equal. But before we get to that, let's just do a quick review, a quick introduction to uh, parallel lines and transversals and the type of angles that you study. So uh, this is going to be a fast overview um, for some of you out there that may not be familiar with this. But here, again, we have one line and we have another line, and we have this line that crosses through these two lines. This line is called a transversal. Now, just right now, looking at uh, this figure, even though these two lines look parallel to one another, we cannot assume that these lines are indeed uh, parallel. Okay, so this is one of the things that math teachers and math exams and tests try to trick you with. They're like, oh, this looks, uh, you know, these lines appear to be parallel. Uh, they, of course, they look to be parallel, but from the figure, we don't have enough information to establish that indeed L, line L, is parallel to M. Now, the way we could establish that L is parallel to M is if you have like an arrow like this and another arrow on this line, this would be one way to establish that these two lines are indeed parallel, or if it, it's stated that L is parallel to M. But unless you have something explicit saying, hey, these two lines are parallel just because they look parallel uh, doesn't mean that they are. But again, these are two uh, kind of notations that you'll see in geometry that uh, will define parallel lines. Okay, so let's just talk real quickly 
about different types of angles. So first thing we want to notice is that we have some interior angles. These are interior to these lines, and then we have some exterior angles. So let's just go ahead and name a few angles. And uh, there's a lot of angle relationships that you need to understand in geometry, but just real quick for those of you that uh, may not be familiar with this stuff. So let's talk about a couple. So here we have this angle and this angle right here would be considered same side, same side interior angles. Okay, so these two angles here, same side interior angles. Now, if I have interior angles, but I have alternating angles, these are alternate interior angles, alternate interior angles. And again, there's a lot of properties here that I'm not quite covering when it comes to parallel lines, but we're just going to get familiar with some of the terminology here. Now, an angle like this and an angle like this, these would be considered corresponding angles, okay, corresponding angles. And of course, that's our situation. Now, uh, the way this, figures can, um, this figure is uh, drawn or written is different than this figure because these lines are kind of slanted. But if you look... What we're dealing with here is corresponding angles. And in geometry, we have a lot of theorems, uh, which is basically a, a rule, if you will, from you know, more or less, or postulate. It, by the way, too, if you are taking a geometry course, I'm going to leave a link to my full geometry course because you have to learn a lot of things called uh, postulates, theorems, properties. It just kind of goes with the territory. So, uh, But I'm not going to be stating the formal uh, properties here. We're going to make this kind of informal so uh, some of you out there that haven't taken geometry will understand. But basically, we have a theorem that says if the corresponding uh, angles, okay, you have two lines, okay, and a transversal, that uh, the corresponding angles that are formed, if they are equal, okay, if the corresponding angles are equal, then these two lines are parallel. So that's what we want to do. We want to equate uh, the corresponding angles. We want to make them equal. And if we can make these two angles equal, then that means these two lines will be parallel. So let's go ahead and put that knowledge to work right now. All right, so we have corresponding angles, and we want to do is make this angle equal to this angle. So what we're going to have to do is use some algebra. Now, another thing, too, if um, some of you out there that are taking geometry or planning on taking geometry, it's typically taken... Uh, after a geometry course is taken after uh, a first year a course in algebra. So you definitely need to know algebra to be successful in geometry. But here, what we want to do is simply uh, set this angle equal to this angle. Now, of course, we have a variable here. And so this is going to be a simple equation. So we're going to equate this equal to this. And let's go to take a look at that equation right now. So we have 12x minus 1 is equal to 10x plus 15. We don't need to put the degree notation in. All we're trying to do is solve for x we have an equation. So we're talking about basic algebra. Okay, so let's go to take the next step, which of course is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I wouldn't ask um, or wouldn't stop this lovely math video unless if it wasn't. Basically, it's that important for me, okay, because uh, I am trying to help other people. And the only way I could do that is if YouTube is saying, you know what, people don't mind subscribing to this guy. And if you're going to subscribe, make sure you hit that notification uh, bell as well. But really, my whole channel is about trying to reach as many people as possible that are either interested in math, but particularly those uh, students out there that need extra support, extra math instruction. And unfortunately, a lot of students are simply not getting the instruction that they need uh, in class. Uh, and of course, you know, this, uh, you know, develops into this kind of situation. I hate math. I'm bad at math and I want to quit in math. I am trying to prevent that. But anyways, uh, thanks for listening to my little pitch here. By you subscribing, though, it really does help me reach these people so we could turn this person into, hey, I'm pretty good at math. So let's go to finish up this problem. This is actually quite easy. So what we want to do here is simply solve uh, 4x. We have this angle, okay, and this angle. Now, of course, these um, angles are expressed with these algebraic expressions, but all we need to do is solve for x. So let's go ahead and move all the x's to uh, the left-hand side of the equation. So we'll simply subtract um, 10x from both sides of the equation, and then we'll add down in a column manner like so, and we're going to get 2x minus 1, <clears throat> excuse me, is equal to 15. Now, again, 
if you are taking a uh, geometry course and you're weak in algebra, you're going to have to go back and review your algebra skills. You don't need to know, like, let's say, complex algebra per se uh, to be successful in geometry, but you certainly need to know how to solve equations, systems of equations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm going to leave a link to all my primary courses uh, uh, in the description of this video. So if you need help with algebra, okay, and you're in geometry, you're going to have to uh, get that, you know, algebra help. Uh, but also, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. Okay, so we have 2x minus 1 is equal to 15. So now we're going to go ahead and move that 1 to the other side of the equation, and we're going to do that by adding 1 to both sides of the equation. And so we're going to end up with 2x, uh, the 1's cross cancel here, um, negative 1 plus 1, not cross cancel, they cancel each other out. So 15 plus 1, we're going to have 2x is equal to 16. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2. So x is equal to 8. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, let's go back to our figure here. And we don't even need to know the actual angles. But if we had, if we plugged in 8 right here, okay, uh, we would get the actual angles. But that is what's required. That is the value of x that's required to make these two lines uh, parallel. All right, so there is a lot more. There is actually... Um, a huge amount of um, things that you need to know about parallel lines and transversals uh, to be successful in geometry, but I don't think any of it is overly complex. Uh, but, you know, this kind of goes into another area of perpendicular lines, parallel lines, you know, basically angle relationships, but you need to know the names of the angles that you're dealing with. So again, corresponding angles, same side interior angles, alternate interior angles. Matter of fact, these angles right here um, let me go ahead and just highlight these two right here. I didn't say, matter of fact, I'll break this out. If you have a line like this and another line like this, what are these two angles called? This angle and this angle. Now, if you know that answer, put that into the comment section. It starts with a V. These are called vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent. They are the same. Okay, so again, I can go on and on and on about uh, uh, parallel lines, transversals. This little video is just a little sample some of the things that you need to know but hopefully you enjoyed it and if that's the case don't forget to like and subscribe and with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day